Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Silver Monique. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I installed these twists in my hair over my dreads. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. And before we get into this video, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Let's go ahead and get into it. Alright you guys, so I'm beginning this video with half of my hair already done. And so you guys can see that it's turning out really, really good. And it's turning out better than I expected it to look, honestly. Because this style is just super different. I've never seen anyone with these type of twists in. Uh, I mean, they remind me of the larger twists that I see some people wear. But I don't think I've ever seen anybody with these twists in before. But you guys can see that my hair is looking a little bit rough. Yes, your girl need a retwist. My dreads is looking real dry, real crunchy, all tights. I know, don't come for me. But I'm going to get myself together once I finish this hairstyle. And so, yeah, I'm going to get it together. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the hair that I am using today. This Afro Bomb Twist by a company on Amazon called Nayo. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. So here's how the hair looks straight out of the bag. So it's not twisted up already. You know how it's like a little curl, like a tight curl. And so, but the hair is like super duper long. I have to get the inches on this hair because it's so long. I ended up cutting the hair in half. So that is what you guys see me doing right now. And I was really trying to go for like the shoulder length for these twists. But after just cutting it in half, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it this length. And if I want to cut it like later on after applying it to my dreads, then I can go ahead and cut it into a bob length. But I just left it as it is and then went ahead and set all my hair on my rack that I have right next to me. Now I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm using. So here's one of the um, gels that I'm using for my locks when I began to twist my hair. I'm using this braid moisturizing spray as well to make it easier for me to part my hair and so that I'm not pulling on my hair. I'm also using this Tropical Roots Firm Locking Gel as well because I want to be able to twist my hair before actually applying the twist to give it a much cleaner look. But I'm going to give you guys a look at the back. So um, I didn't have a mirror or anything y'all. I am just going by feeling the back of my hair. I yeah so I mean if you do hair you know what I mean like if you don't have a mirror you just got to feel where the best parts is you just got to feel it and you just know right you just know but that is exactly what I am doing right now so I'm just taking one of the dreads and I'm going to go ahead and twist that dread up before actually applying the twist and I'm going to go ahead and take some of that locking gel and go ahead and start twisting After twisting my own hair, I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of the Afro Bomb Twist and braid it about four to five times just to make sure that the twist is secure. And then once I did that, I went ahead and twist all the way through. So you guys are going to see as you guys continue to watch. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move to the front of my head and I'm gonna do the same process that I did for the back of my head and do that now. But I, right now I'm just taking a little bit of jam just to smooth out that parting and making sure that my parts are um, as good, as clean as possible. You know, they don't have to be perfect, but I just want them to be as clean as possible. And so I'm not gonna be the most perfectionist, but I'm gonna get it as good as I can. But I'm also going to take some of that moisturizing spray as well in a sec here just to make it a little bit more easier for when I need to part out my hair because y'all see my hair is a little rough okay so I need that moisturizing spray just to make my hair uh, much more soft 
and easier for me to part. And if you guys want to know where I got the moisturizing spray from, I got it from Target. And I really love this moisturizing spray because it not only moisturizes my hair, but also gives my hair some shine as well and not make it look all dry. Now here I go starting to twist up this dread in the front here. And with the locking gel, I used both of the locking gels at the same time um, because honestly it was my first time using both of those. And so... Um, sometimes on some dreads I will use either one sometimes I will use both of them but hey you guys can pick and choose what you want to use on your head I just use what was best for me and as you guys can see I'm starting off braiding so I braided about four or five times and now I'm twisting all the way through and I'm trying my best to hide my dread within the twist as I'm twisting down so that it's not poking out or so, or so that it don't poke out once I am finished and so so all you got to do is just um, hide your hair within the twist and then you should be all good. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue the same process for the rest of my head. And then I cannot wait to show you guys how it looks when I am all finished. All right, you guys, so here it is, the finished and final look. I'm just running my fingers through my head just to show you guys that I did my entire head and I am done. And y'all, this was such an easy process. Like these twists were so easy to apply to my head. Like I am so glad that these twists did not give me a hard time. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I am definitely in love with this hair. One, because it is super lightweight. It is not heavy on my head. Even though it looks like a lot of hair on my head, it is super, super, super light. And I didn't realize I had this many dreads in my head because this is a lot of hair. Like, this hair is not even thick, but my head looks super full. So, yeah, I got a head full of hair. So this is, I feel like this is a protective style because it's not pulling on the root of my hair like really tight or anything like that but it still looks super cute super clean and things like that um the parts are looking clean and yeah i like this hair i love nayo i love the brand nayo i love their hair all the time so i'm it's they never disappoint me you guys ever 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 like get so many things from them and they never disappoint but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment sections below um especially for my dread head ladies like i know we want to switch up our style sometimes so here's a i feel like this is a cute protective styles for anyone who have dreads and things like that or anyone who's just looking for a protective hairstyle period you can definitely do this and i think you will love it and i want to show you guys how easy this hair is um how easy it is to take this hair down so it's just a twisty all i'm doing is untwisting and voila super easy and like it like i said again it's not pulling on your hair and i'm about to go ahead and apply this back to my head because who about to be out here looking crazy all done and also you guys can definitely style this hair many different ways just like any other braiding style you can style it half up half down just like this or in a bun just like this style or you can also do like a half up half down whether that's like a ponytail or a bun half up half down you can do two ponytails if you want to go that route like there's so many different styles you can really do you can um wear like um <clears throat> some bangs in the front with the ponytail in the back like or you can just wear it all down with the side part since i really don't have a middle part i can't really do a middle part 
but you can definitely wear it um, to both sides or most of it to one side or you can also pull some hair back while the hair is down just like this this used to always be like a go-to for me just like this you can wear it like that but yeah i'm pretty sure there's a lot more out there that you can choose from and that you can do but you guys just let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below if you guys like this hair and you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i will see you all on the next video mm -hmm.